In this tutorial, we'll look at two different methods of creating a stretchy text animation. Enjoy the video. Here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to name it Render as a main render comp. 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. Click OK. Then grab the E-Type tool and type your text. I'm going to type text. Really creative, I know. Then let's increase the text scale to something like 200 and make sure to align it in the center. After that, right click the text, create create shapes from text. Click on that. Once you do that, we can go back to the selection tool and remove the actual text layer. We no longer need it. We'll be working with the text outlines here. Select the text outlines layer and in the search bar type path. This will give you all the paths for every single letter that I will be animating individually using paths. So let me make it really simple for you. Move a playhead two seconds mark and create a keyframe for the first letter. So T in my case. And from here, move back 10 frames. So hold your shift and press the page up button to move 10 frames back. And that select the top points here, as you can see me selecting and drag them outside of the composition to the point that we no longer see them. And then move back 10 frames again, select the bottom point and drag them outside as well. So if we preview this, you can see the effect, exactly what we want. You can of course further adjust the animation timings, but I'm not gonna do that for the sake of the tutorial. So let's move to two seconds again, to the last keyframe of the T, and create a keyframe for letter E this time. Again, move back 10 frames, grab the top point, again, drag them outside to the point that we no longer see them, move back 10 frames, dra drag the middle points up, and move back 10 frames, select the bottom point, also drag the map, it's preview, so that works fine. Let's move on to the next letter, so X, again go to 2 seconds, align it with the last keyframe of the previous letters, create a keyframe for the path for our letter X, move back 10 frames, select the top point, drag them outside, move back 10 frames, select the middle point, so Letter X is a bit weird as you can see, but it works fine with most, most of the letters. Again, 10 frames back and drag the outside. Preview. So you can see the X stretches a bit weirdly. Again, go to 2 seconds mark and create a keyframe for the letter T path. Then move back 10 frames, select the top point, drag them outside. Move back 10 frames again, drag the bottom point, also drag them outside. And let's make a preview. So that is perfect. And once you're done animating every single letter, now we can proceed to adjusting the animation timing. Select all the keyframes, go to Keyframe Assistant, Ease of Ease, you can press F9 as a shortcut. So that'll smoothen out the animation a bit. After that, you can start aligning the keyframes to the proper positions. Let's move to the beginning of the composition and grab the first letter's keyframes and drag them to the beginning. And then go to the last keyframe of the first letter and drag the second letter's keyframes to that. So kind of create a staircase. So once the first letter finishes animating, the second one follows. Do that for the rest of the letters to get a smoother animation. Again, go to the last keyframe and drag the other keyframes. Let's preview. The likes are right, but animation is a bit slow so easy way to fix this would be to select all of the keyframes let's say move to two seconds mark and once you have all the keyframes selected make sure to hold alt and drag the last keyframe here as you can see and drag it to the left and every other keyframe will follow as well so that will result in a shorter animation or a quicker animation that's pretty much it for the first method it requires quite a bit of time let's now move to the second method as for our second method, let's create a new composition here. And the name doesn't matter here, use the same settings, click OK. Once again, grab the type tool and type your text. I'm going to type text once again. And again, increase the scale of it to 200, align the text in the center. You know, pretty much the same thing. We're not going to create shapes from text, but rather we'll use effects. Go to effects and presets window. Search for the effect called scale, CC scale wipe. Apply this to the text layer. This effect has a couple of settings here, really simple. Increase the stretch, as you can see that the text cuts off, that's because we need to add another effect called CC composite. Add this to the text layer, make sure to put this above the CC scale wipe. That's pretty much the same thing as pre-composing a layer. 
Let's now adjust the settings of our scale wipe. Let's set direction to zero. You can of course use a different direction for different stretch. Let's set a stretch to some like 30. That should give you a nice stretch. Create a keyframe for center. Play around with a Y value. Adjust it to the point that we no longer see the text. At this point, press U to see the keyframe. And move two seconds forward, let's say. And adjust the center value to the point that our text is not stretched and it's completely visible. So let the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease and get press F9. Go to the graph editor and create a peak in the center. Let's do a quick preview. And just like that, you can really quickly create a stretchy text animation. But this method is a bit different as you can tell that all the letters animate simultaneously compared to the previous method and every single letter animating individually. So you have more control in the previous method, but of course, also you need to spend a lot more time adjusting everything. As I mentioned, you can also change the direction, play around with the center, so X value here. You can make the text stretch from the side if you'd like so. You can also duplicate the, the effect and, you know, just create two-way stretch from both sides. And yeah, you can really get creative with this. Feel free to experiment with this on your own. At this point, our tutorial is complete. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.